everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Pratika and in today's video, I am going to be showing you all a short and very pretty nail art tutorial to create a butterfly. So, I have been wanting to try this since a while now and it's super cute. It just requires a gradient piece and then you need to draw the butterfly wing over it. So, this is just a freehand nail art technique and you can definitely give it a try because it looks super pretty. I am finally going to be picking the winners of my previous giveaway and that is the Jibbal giveaway. If you haven't watched the swatches of nail polishes, then you can check it out in the link above and if you missed the giveaway then stay tuned for more giveaways. So I know it took quite a long time to pick the winners but sorry for the delay and I will be picking the winners at the end of this video so stay tuned for that and now without wasting more time let's get right into the video. So I've already applied my base coat for this manicure and next I'm going to be applying my white polish first. So the reason I'm applying the white polish as my base color is because it's going to bring out the color of the next polish I apply over it. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to be using my liquid latex around my nail and this is going to create a barrier for my gradient later on. So for my gradient today, I'm going to be using the most common shades that is yellow and orange and they complement each other really well. So since yellow is the lighter shade, I'm going to be applying one coat of this shade for my base color over the white polish. So next I'm going to be taking a piece of sponge to create my gradient. So if you want to know how to create a gradient in detail, then you can watch my video on how to create an ombre nail art in the link above. So I'm just going to be applying the yellow polish and then the orange polish so this yellow polish is by a brand called as streetwear and I absolutely love the shade of yellow and for my orange I'm using tangerine sheen by Debel cosmetics. So once I'm done with this I'm just going to be dabbing it on my nail and I repeated this step once again just to bring out the color of both these shades. So you can repeat this until you're happy with the shade and once I'm done with that I'm going to be applying a thick layer of a top coat to blend this all in and bring out that beautiful gradient manicure. So next I'm going to be using my brush and this brush is from Bon Pretty Store and they are amazing to create freehand nail arts. So I'm going to be using the brush along with my black polish to create the design. So I'm going to be starting by drawing a curved line towards the bottom of my nail and this is kind of going to create the base for the wing. So next I'm going to draw 3 or 4 different diagonal lines from the base to the bottom of my nail and this is just giving that wing like structure to it. So once I'm done with creating these lines, I'm just going to be connecting them by using a U-shaped line between each of these. So this was not easy to create under the camera and that's the reason you can see most of my lines are not thin enough. I've already done my other nails and they look really pretty but under the camera this is so not easy to draw and I usually don't do freehand nail art under the camera for this reason. So the best part about the nail art is when you're creating it on all your nails, and even if one of your nail is not perfect, it will just blend in all together. And now once you're done with drawing the outline, you can start by filling in the black polish at the bottom and give an outline to your entire nail. So this is how the entire wing looks like. And now finally, all you need to do is take your dotting tool or a toothpick and your white polish and then start drawing these beautiful dots on the wing. So over here, I'm just trying to create larger dots and then some smaller dots here and there and it looks perfect. I absolutely love how this turned out to be. So finally, I applied a matte top coat over it just to bring out that texture and I really love how it looks as a matte manicure than the glossy one and I'm definitely going to try this with different shades as well. So I hope you like this design and now we are going to be picking the winners of my giveaway. So as I told earlier there would be two winners, one of them would be from Instagram and the other one would be from YouTube. So I am just going to be picking the Instagram winner first. And like my previous giveaway, I am just going to be picking it using a random comment generator because it seems to be fair and every person would be given a fair chance to win it. So I'm just going to be adding the link over here. So one of the rules in the giveaway did mention that you would have to tag five of them. So for Instagram, I'm just going to be picking five mentions over here. And we have almost 51 different comments. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna click on the start button. So the Instagram winner is Get Needed and congratulations to you. So the next winner that I'm gonna be picking is from the YouTube comments. So I'm just gonna be pasting that link over here. And we do have a lot more participants on YouTube and that is 77 in total. So I'm just going to be clicking on the start button and if the winner is picked and does not follow the rules then I will be picking another winner. So the YouTube winner is Nikita S and she's written quite a long comment. So congratulations to Get Needed and Nikita S and both of you will be winning prizes for the 2000 rupees from Devel Cosmetics. So you can claim your prize by DMing me on Instagram at qdl 96 or you can also email me at my email ID. So that's all for today's video and if you like the design that I created earlier then give this video a thumbs up and help me hit 2000 subscribers by subscribing to my channel and let me know in the comment box below what you would like to see next. So that's all for today's video. See you on the next one.